Why hello you lovely people out there on the interwebs. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day when I'm doing a video for YouTube. Now I weren't going to stick this one on my channel but it turned out to be a really interesting one because um, it went from a head gasket to this to that. Days and days and days of grind. But hey ho, there's enough of that. Let's watch the video. Hope you enjoy it. Speak to you afterwards. Alright Baz, uh, I thought I'd do this video just to show you mate, um, it's going to turn into longer days, um, I'm not going to charge you any more mate, but whilst I've got this off, I'm going to be cleaning it up, as you can see it's really bad, so I want to get all that off, so I'm going to clean all that off, uh, also I want to put new gasket on that, and if I turn this down, two seconds Baz. Right, and I also want to do the um, valve stem seals as well. So it just gives this engine a bit more of a chance, Baz. All right, mate. So, uh, yeah, I've made this video just to show you what I'm up against at the moment. As you can see, it's still very dirty in every place possible. So I want to clean this up thoroughly, get it done, and then uh, get it back on the car. So hopefully you get it back soon, mate. Well, there you go, Baza. I think that speaks for itself. Nice and clean. So, onto the valves. Uh, seals. I'm not doing the valves. I'm doing the valve seals. So, yeah, let's get to it. Right, got the first eight done, Baz. As you can see, there's new ones. There's the old ones. They were bad, mate. Very bad. So, uh, yeah. So, I've done eight. I'm going to do the other eight. So, I've done these eight, Baz. There we go. That one's done. That one's done. 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 And done. So, I'm going to be doing these ones. I'm going to flip it up. Turn it around so I can do... The bottom ones. There we go, Mazza. All done, mate. I've done all the valves. Cleaned it all up. As you can see, it's all nice and clean. I have got some issues, though, that I will show you. Right, first issue is this, mate. I don't know what this is here. It looks like um, sealant. But it looks like an awful lot of sealant. They might have cracked it behind here. So I'm going to carefully try and take this off. I'm going to take this off, obviously. I'm going to put a new gasket on this. Once I take this off, I'm going to have a scrounge in this and see why there's so much. As you can see, this is just um, that instant gasket stuff. So I'm hoping that they haven't plugged up a hole or a crack. So... I will get back to you on that, but this video is just to show you uh, all the valves are done. Yeah, all the valves are done. And all clean. So all I've got left to do, Baza, is uh, just uh, flush it through for you, this head. And then I've got to flush the bottom end through. Now... I did have a problem, mate. I'm sorry about this, but I can't control people sending me the wrong parts, i.e. the head bolts. As you know, I had to send your details over to them to make sure they send me the right ones. Now, I ordered these two days before I even took the car off of you. So I had the right parts. I wanted to make sure. Well, lo and behold, they're not the right parts. They're the wrong head bolts. But I have got the right head bolts over there. I got them through this morning. So we've got the right head bolts. So I can start putting it back together. But as you can see, Baz, this is a big kit. Now, I want to use it all, basically. So um, we are going to be using most of it. Some of it you're not going to be using. Because some of it um, is like different things. Stuff like that. So, um, but, 
but yeah we will be using most of this kit there's that gasket that's the gasket for that so yeah i'll get that off and uh investigate that and see what's going on for you buzz um fingers crossed mate it's okay it's probably just an overspill that's what i'm hoping all right mate so see you soon all ring there all ring there and they've gave you new ones of these they're here so we've got three new ones of them that's new all ring where's that yeah it's just because i've got there we go so i've got to dig this one out get that one out get that one in get these glued in one there one at the bottom there one at the bottom there all right Baza, mate um this is where i'm at so far i've managed to get the engine bay nice and clean Right, we have got some issues. Again, your bottom block has got a lot of this pitting, mate. And what happens is this will raise up, it will blow up, raise up enough for it to put like air between the gasket and the head, and that's probably where it's leaking. You got one, you got one there, you got one there, and you got one there. So I am gonna try and get these so they're not so bad. This one's not so bad. That just needs tarting up. This is the one that's the worst. That's really bad, that one. But as you can see, it's all pitted. And when it pits, it's like rust. It, it explodes, mate. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it grows bigger, so it's lifting up your head gasket. And this, this was the second worst one. I can really feel feel it there mate so like I said I will I will try and uh, get these down as best I can so they don't blow up again um, I have got some metal paste as well that I can put over these just to make them flush again because some of these ain't flush that that one's still flush but this one this one isn't flush I can get my nail in it but other than that, the pistons look good. Um, you've got no slack in your pistons. I've checked them uh, backwards and forwards, as you can see. You've got no slack in them. So they're good pistons. Uh, they've cleaned up nice. I'm gonna rotate the engine so I can get these two up and clean them. But as you can see, if I put the light on, you you still got really nice scoring in that. You still got nice crisscross scoring. There's no, there's no lip. There's no lips, so everything else is good, mate. But I just wanted to add this as well. This is day five on this engine, mate. Uh, reason being, like I said, you just don't know what you're gonna come across, mate. And I ain't putting this back together. It's, it's like I could put the head back on now and just put it all back together and be done with it. But I'm not gonna do that, mate, because as you can see, this needs doing as well. Can you see they've used instant gasket again on this? Now, again, I've got the gasket for this, so I might as well take it off, put the new gasket on, reseal it, and then that's done as well, mate. So, this is all I'm saying. I'm coming across stuff like this. Like I said, I, I don't want to stick the head back, and this starts to leak, like, a week after or something, because I've disturbed it or whatever. Do you know what I mean, mate? So, I, I've got the gasket for this, so I'm going to be doing this as well, and any other gasket that was in that kit, I will be putting on you've got new exhaust pipe gasket go on and stuff like that um i do an oil change as well i do a new oil filter and new oil for this um because obviously i've jet washed it so you might have some water in your oil but i will be draining that and i will get underneath the car as well uh to get rid of all it underneath as well but yeah she's looking a lot more spiffing in there now so she's a lot more cleaner oh look you can see the gearbox yeah, you can see the you can see the VIN and everything on the gearbox. Look at that. All right, mate. So yeah, it's it's just took a little bit longer than I anticipated. But like I said, this is day five, and I do mean day five, a whole five days on this vehicle. 
um, just trying to get it to where I am now. So my next step is do this at the front here, get this ready so I'm ready to put the head on. As soon as I've done this, I'll stick the head on, get the head on, talk it down to where it needs to be talked. I've got all the talk settings and everything else. I'll get that on and hopefully, fingers crossed, I should, don't quote me on this though, I should get this back um, together and running Sunday, tomorrow, I'm hoping. Um, but saying that, because I'm day five, I haven't done your breaks, so I'm gonna hope and pray that you're okay for me to keep this for, I probably need a day and a half or two days just to button everything up, mate. So yeah, I'm just letting you know I might need to nick an extra two days for this vehicle to get it finished for you. All right, mate, I hope you're happy with what well I've done so far. Um, it has been a lot of work, but I enjoy it mate, I really do. I enjoy doing stuff like this, especially when you get a result like this. I mean, your actual block is okay. It's just these pittings mate, that's the only thing. Um, because they've started to go, if they get a bit of moisture on them, anything like that, they just blow up again mate, and it just do your head gasket again, and then you're back to square one. So yeah, a little thing like that can ruin a whole engine, so yeah. I'll try and get them done as best as possible and filled with um, some liquid paste. Like I said, I've got some liquid paste. I'm going to try and fill them. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll seal them so they won't get any moisture and it shouldn't happen again. So fingers crossed, mate. It's, it's all going well at the moment, sorry, by the way. Um, I've had no problems, but I have come across certain things. Um, I will explain to you when I see you. Um, there's been a few bolts that I found that are over, been over tightened by the previous people so whoever done this engine honest mate they really didn't know what they were doing um, I found your wiring loom the wrong way round I mean it should have been routed another way I mean just silly things but yeah it was just done wrong mate so yeah anyway let's get cracking like I said this is day 5 Saturday I'm on it again mate so hopefully I will get most of this engine put back today and yeah I'll see you soon, mate. All right, mate, a little bit more of a horror story, I'm afraid. Um, like I said, this pitting, I don't know how well that's coming across. Can you see it all? Oh, it's all coming down here. It's all there. It's, uh, like I said, this was the worst, uh, second to worst one. I can feel that. You see that line, I can feel that really bad. That really dips in there. Um, I'm going to try and hit it again. And then I am going to try and fill it with something. I don't know how well it's going to do because it's really thin. But this one is the worst one here. Can you see how bad that is? That's really bad. And it's not just here, mate. It's, it's all here. Look, can you see all that pit in? And this is all around where the seal's supposed to be. So you're supposed to have a seal all the way around it. And you've got this pit in. It's going to let air, moisture in, anything. And then it's just going to start bubbling up. And you're going to have exactly the same problem that you're getting me to fix. So it's 50-50 at the moment, mate. So I will keep you, I will keep these videos going. Um, this one come out all right. Um, I know it looks bad, but it is okay, this one. Uh, I just need to put a thin layer over that and that should be fine. Um, you haven't got a lot of pitting on this side. You've got a few bits here and there, but that one's pretty good, as you can see. Yeah, it's not as bad as the others. Can you see along that? Look, look, can you see that line? That's your gasket line there. So imagine that line on this one. Is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, imagine that line on that this one. As you can see, it's really bad along that line. Yeah, and then you've got another line here where it goes around. I don't know, again, I don't know where that's picking it up, but can you see that line there? See that line there? It goes around there like that. Well, that's exactly where this is. So that is an outer seal 
to the elements basically so if this if this blows up again you're just gonna it's just gonna be getting moisture again moisture 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 and you're just gonna have the same bloody problem so like i said mate fingers crossed it's 50 50 at the moment um if if um i can't do this you might have to get this rehomed um so that means i've got to take it out and put it down to the machine shop but we'll talk about that mate um when we come to it when we cross that bridge uh, so like i said cross your fingers and toes and everything else let's hope i can get this nice and smooth if i can get some sort of paste in there and it stays in there especially that one that's the worst one but yeah if i can get some paste that just stays in there then happy days all right mate so like i said i'll keep you posted okay mate we have some good news uh that come out rather well so yeah fingers crossed that's nice and level i shouldn't have a ditch in that but it's like a it's like a self level let level uh um stuff so i scraped it i'm just gonna wait until that goes off as soon as that goes off i'm getting the head back on mate yeah yeah All right, Baz, just to show you, I've flushed it through as much as I can. Um, the better way to do this would be taking the engine off, standing it up on its back, and running a high pressure hose through it. I've tried to get as much of this gunk out as possible. That gunk. You can see there. You see that, Baz? See, so I've got most of it out. Um, I'll keep flushing it, keep flushing it. But I'll, what, what I'll do is I'll run it through heat cycles and it should push all the oil up into that header tank and then it's a little bit easier to clean. So, yeah, we're going good, mate. We're going good. All right, okay, Buzzer, here we go. Your head is on. It's all torqued down and everything else. But like I said before I even started this project, um, whatever you want to call it, this job, um, I've come across another problem. Um, it might be okay, but when I was talking down the head bolts, somebody who's done this engine before me has talked them down too much. Um, what that means is when I, when I was talking them down, mate, um, some of them were going slack. And if you've got a slack head bolt, then it gives the gasket um it, it gives it allows it to maneuver basically between the head and the, the bottom end so we're still at 50 50 i'm afraid um it this, this could work it it could not but um yeah i've still still got all the cams to do to put on i've still got the water pump gasket to do i've still got to flush through your radiator and um what else was i doing uh radiator Oh, and all, all your bits and bobs at the top here. So, oh, the other thing was, Baz, um, do you remember we was going to try and do the, do your sump one day? And then I got under there and realised that I have to take all that off. Oh. I have to take all that subframe mount off and your steering rack at the front. Because we want to do the sump gasket. We're not going to be able to do the sump gasket without taking that off. So I need to drop your steering rack, your subframe bit, just so I can do your sump mate because I'm sure you want the sump done because that was leaking like a sieve as well mate so um, when, when you watch this video um, please call me mate I, I do want to have a chat about how much longer it's going to take because um, I've still got quite a bit to do mate and I, I'm just doing it on my own at the moment um, Ash, Ashley's been really busy so uh, yeah I'm doing this all on my own at the moment, so yeah, it's just taking a bit of a while, mate. Um, the first two days, 
I couldn't start because it was raining and um, I wasn't feeling great anyway. So I've been on this car since Wednesday. It's now Monday, so and I've still got quite a bit to do. Um, hopefully, I will get 90% of this car done today. I'm hoping, Baz. But um, yeah, don't quote me on that, mate. I am so trying my best to get this done for you. I really am. Um, but I'm just coming across problem after problem with this engine. So, uh, yeah, like I said, mate, fingers crossed. Hopefully I'll get it done for you, mate, and I'll see you soon. All right, Baz and mate, this is where we're at so far. Right, okay, we've got all the camshafts back in. i just got to talk all these down. Um, but through taking off the water pump, yeah, this is where the water pump goes. You can see this is your oil pump housing all this here goes down there all the way along all the way up here i gotta take all that off so i can get to this because this is where it's leaking as you can see it's leaking right down there little man and i'm filming i'm filming as well look this is for a customer, so I can yeah. show him what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, it's a big old engine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice one, though. No? It's clean, isn't it? Oh, I've cleaned it all. I've took oh, it apart. It's clean, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've done a good job. Thank you. Have you, have you still got your pit mm, I've got one. Okay. Yeah, we what? lost, we lost, uh, we lost what? one. All right, Baz, mate. So this is where we're at so far. Um, cam, cam shafts are in and uh they they need talking down but um just like everything else mate i'm documenting everything and just want to show you right some of these cams are bad um they got a lot of scoring in them unfortunately you see that scoring that scoring there there was one that was quite bad i wanted to show you but i can't see it at the moment but um, they got quite a bit of scoring on them, so yeah. Um, again, we're we're, we're still 50-50, mate. All right. Uh, I've took the water pump off. Water pump goes there, and this is your oil pump. Now it must be leaking from here, Baz, because inside this should not have any oil in it, and this here was caked in oil absolutely caked i couldn't even see that bolt it was black it was like the same color as this so what i'm gonna have to do is again take this off but it's quite a big bit of the engine it goes from the top here all the way down there all the way along all the way along up here to about there i think yeah because this is not part of it it stops about here somewhere down here see it so yeah, I've got to take that off because as you can see, this is where it's been leaking. It's been leaking in this. Can you see like all this residue? It's just soaking wet of oil. Yeah. Focus on my finger, there you go. So I mean, do, do remember I have cleaned this, so, but you can see how bad it is. It's really bad, bad. So, I mean, whatever they did, I think they just took this off and put a load of sealant on it, to be quite honest with you. So, yeah, anyway, um, back to what I was doing. So, this is your water pump, mate. Right, I've scraped off the gasket. All the gasket's gone. But as you can see, it's left a lot of, like, residue or gasket, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try and get this as nice as possible, and I'll bring you straight back. Boom, all clean. It's got a little bit of pit in it, on it, but um, I'm sure the gasket will sort that out. That's not a problem. It's very, it looks bad, but it's not deep. It's not deep at all. But you'd expect this on this because this is inside the gasket that's the outside of the gasket this is inside the gasket so this is the inside of the gasket basically so this is why it goes like this because it's getting water hitting on it basically so yeah this shouldn't be a problem mate because you didn't have a water leak did you so it was only an oil leak so 
like I said, I'm gonna clean the rest of it up. I've got this bit to do. I'm gonna do that, clean that up, and I'll bring you straight back. Right, that's all done, mate. We do need a new thermostat ring. It's completely shot. You can see it all cracking up there, look, see that? So you need a new one of them. You should get it with um, a thermostat. Uh, we need a new thermostat as well, because the rubber has gone on that as well. Yeah, so that's not it's not seating where it needs to be seating. So I'm gonna get a new thermostat and hopefully I'll get a new thermostat seal. But if not, I will buy one mate, not a problem. Right Baz, we're at I don't know what day it is now, I can't remember, but yeah, um I have finally got the oil pump off. But for those who want to get the oil pump off, whoever's watching this, you have to take off alternator, power steering pump, um, air conditioning pump, air conditioning bracket, there. Then we get underneath, you gotta take off the pickup, Obviously, you've got to take off the sump and then you can get the oil pump off. Oh, sorry. Also, you have to drop the drive line. You've got to drop it out of its socket like that. Yeah. Take that out of the way. And you've got a cross member at the back there as well. I think I showed you in a previous clip. You've got to take off as well. So, yeah. Quite a bit to take off just to do an oil pump. So yeah, well done designers, whoever designed this engine. It's been, it's been a blast. But as you can see, Baza, I'm getting there, mate. Slowly but surely, I am getting there. So I'm at the point now where I can start, hopefully putting things back together. So yeah. I'll bring you straight back when I've got that oil pump on, mate. All right, here we go, Baza. Oil pump all done. New seal up there, new seal here, new seal there. So, ready to go back on the motor. As well as the sump and the oil pickup tube. So, now, fingers crossed, mate, stuff is starting to go back together. So, woohoo, happy days. Okay, Baza, just an update to let you know where I am so far. Right, um, I'm at least, I'd say, 70% done with the car. So, it's all looking good. It's all looking up. But, like I said, I'm just documenting everything just to show you why it's taken me so long to do this car, mate, honestly. Um, as you can see, on this, it's got a normal bolt that side. But, as you can see on the other side, it's a different length because they've used a nut to take the length up. So I've got to take that off and find a nut. But it's just silly things like that, Baz, that I'm finding, do you know what I mean? And I had to clean your EGR valve because it was absolutely disgusting in there. So I don't know where you can see that. Let me put the, let me put the light on. Yeah, okay, see if you can see that now. There you go. And you got this bit down there as well. So it was a lot worse than that, Baz, but I'm cleaning it up, mate. I, like I said, I'm just documenting everything I find, so it's just silly things like that I'm finding, and then it's just taking time. Uh, the other thing that's uh, slowing me down sorry is the crank seal as you know mate I ordered these parts before I even got the car so um, 
I keep getting mucked around, mate. I'm hopefully getting the crank seal on Tuesday because you know it's a bank holiday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, mate, I get the crank seal Tuesday and I can start putting this back together like 100% and get you back your car, mate. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, Baza, start to put the EGR valve on. All nice and clean, all ready and done. Two new gaskets, and that's gonna go on down there. So I've literally completed this side. As soon as I completed this side, I'll get this side done, and then my golden mate, oh, and the front. I've got to put the fan on and the radiator, but yeah. We're looking good, mate, okay? See you soon. Right, okay, I'm building this, uh, gasket for the adapter plate for the um, thermostat on the car so yeah i basically bought this stuff it's high temperature it goes up to 360 degrees i mean if your car is going up to 360 degrees you've got a problem with it so this should last as well as the metal so this resists oil water um, petrol anything really it's so yeah so i'm gonna cut this out get this cut out and i'll show you it on the vehicle Go. All done. Get it on the car. Okay, Bazza, mate, we are finally getting there, bruv. Finally, finally. Right, this side is completely done, except for obviously the radiator's got to go in and a pipe and all the other ducting. But it's all been done, all the wiring's connected at the top. Um, I've got most of the manifold on. As you can see, I've got the manifold on. I've just started putting turbo on. Turbo can go on next. Um, all the front's been done. I've just got to stick your propeller on uh, for your fan. Stick your brand new belts on, and then that's the front done. I've just got to take your airbox off, flush your header tank through, and obviously flush um, your radiator through as well, mate. So yeah, I had a good day today. So um, yeah, it's all going well, mate. So. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I'll see you soon, brother. Okay, Bazza, as per usual, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we're literally there, mate. We're like 90% done, maybe 95. All I've got left to do is the fan on here, fan surround and uh, radiator. That brings me to my 
dilemma. This radiator, mate, I think has had it. I don't think we're going to be able to get all this out because these they're so thin. And this stuff coming out here is so thick. I don't think I'm going to be able to clean this out, mate. I mean, I've put solvent down it. I've put this solvent down it, this gunk. I mean, it's, it is in there, mate. So I'm going to leave it for a good couple of hours. I've put some gunk in the top there. So let it go through and we'll see what happens, mate. But um, it's looking like you might need a new radiator, mate, because these are too thin. I mean, I am air pressuring it as well. I've put air pressure down it. Yeah, and this is this is what was coming out of it. I mean, obviously that's got degreaser with it, so it's a lot thinner. But that is what I'm getting out of it, mate. So, I'll give it a couple of hours, um, like I always do. I never give up on something. I'm going to try and get it out as much as I can. And then we'll go from there, mate. So, I'll let you know. See you soon. Happy days, Baz. Like I always say, if I can't fix it, it can't be fixed. So, there you go, mate. She's running. I'm going to let it go through some heat cycles and then hopefully I can give this back to you tomorrow. But we've got no leaks. No leaks, no nothing. The only thing we've got is an engine light and that's just because I've had everything off. I'll get the computer on it, mate, and just switch that engine light off. It's not a problem. It's because I've had everything off, so. But yeah, she's running, mate. I've had it going for a while now. So, oh, happy days, mate. I hope this lasts. I hope it stays the same, and I hope it runs. Well, here you have it, you lovely people out there on the interwebs. I think this one was a little bit of a nightmare, but I got there in the end, as you can see. Running very nice. So yeah, happy days. I'm gonna put it through some heat cycles. Then I'm gonna stick in uh, the antifreeze. I've just put in water for now, because as you've seen in the clips, there was all oil in it and everything else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a couple of heat cycles. Then I'm going to dump the water that's in there, put some fresh water in, give it another go, and then I'll dump that, and then I'll put the antifreeze in. So, happy days. Don't forget, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave your comments. I love to read them. And you all stay safe out there. See you later.